person between the lower jaw that is your mandible and the larynx is a very unique bone called hyoid bone. Surgeons use this bone as a reference point to locate the third cervical vertebrae, which is present on the posterior side. It is said to be approximately 3 cm below the angle of mandible. This is where you can palpate it. Due to this reason, the hyoid bone has been studied for the centuries and also finds great significance in the anthropological studies. Not to forget its unique shape which varies from person to person, especially based on their sex. If we talk about the name of this bone, it finds its origin from the Greek word hyoides, meaning shape like the letter epsilon. See, it is epsilon or U-shaped bone. If you ask me, it resembles a mandible too, since both of these bones are said to be horseshoe shaped. Two things make this bone unique. Firstly, it is the only bone present in the anterior neck. The other structures in the anterior neck is the larynx, which is an extremely cartilaginous area. And secondly, it is the only bone in the body that does not articulate with any other bone directly. It is connected with other bony structure only through the muscles and ligaments. This is why it is also termed as a free floating bone. If you look here, this is the hyoid bone. From the above, muscles from the floor of the mouth and tongue attach here. And from the bottom, we have muscle attachments from the larynx and from behind, the epiglottis and the pharynx. All these muscles and ligaments allow the hyoid bone to perform very key functions. We will discuss these attachments in proper detail in upcoming section. Now, due to these attachments, the hyoid bone is also called as the lingual bone or the tongue bone because it carries the weight of tongue and facilitates the movement of the jaw, allowing us to speak, breathe, and swallow. It also keeps the upper airway open during sleep. Humans are the only animals that are said to possess this bone in combination with the voice box and the tongue. Without this, we won't be able to form words and talk. We would only be able to gargle and hoot like chimpanzees. This cylinder, irregular shaped bone is so important. To study it thoroughly, we divided it into three main parts. The body, greater horns, and the lesser horns. It is also interesting to note that most bones in the body have three ossification centers. But since we keep mentioning that hyoid bone is super unique, it has six ossification centers in total. Two ossification centers on the body and two on each projection or horn. So they are total six in number. In the upcoming sections, we will discuss all the anatomical landmarks, interesting facts and the most importantly, the muscles and ligaments which allow the functions of the hyoid. Bone.